Jesus. April 27, 2011, as an EF4 tornado barreled towards Tuscaloosa, former Alabama gymnast Kayla Hoffman Hughes went about her day clueless about what was heading her way. It feels so embarrassing now, like looking back, like why did I, how did, like how did I not know? After messages from friends, the national champion gymnast tried to take shelter, but it was too late. That massive storm was already knocking on the doorstep of her apartment off 15th Street. What happened next is a story that she shared with WVTM 13 just days after it happened. Really, my only option was to stay there in this doorway that was outside that I was standing near. And so I put my feet up on the doorway and kind of braced my hands in the door and things were still hitting me and it was, you know, really windy, but I thought it was still kind of hitting me all over and I figured I need to get down a little bit lower. So I took my purse, put it up over my head and kind of crouched down in like a, you know, little ball by the door and just stayed there for 30 to 40 seconds while the tornado was just kind of swirling around. 10 years later, Hoffman Hughes still can't believe she lived to tell the story. It had to be God. There's just no way that that wasn't some sort of like supernatural. Like I just wasn't, it was just not my time to go. Today, the former gymnast is a wife and mother of two. She's also an elementary teacher in Atlanta, and she hopes this incredible story of survival will be a teachable moment for others. I feel like I'm always like looking for those moments to like teach about the safety of storms and tornadoes. I'm so thankful to have been given a chance and I hope I'm living a life that's worthy and you know that he's looking down proud that he gave me that chance and um, I love sharing the story. I hope that it's that it helped. In Tuscaloosa, Sarah Killian, WVTM 13.